Well, a strange standoff in Venice is over. A man with a sword barricaded inside the home of a complete stranger, and the SWAT team was called in. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live in Venice now to show us the dramatic end to this wild incident. Lori. Pat, it certainly was. I want to give you an idea of where we are. We are just off of Abbott Kinney Boulevard. You can see it behind me there. So part of that was closed off on what should have been a very busy shopping day. But just a few steps off of Abbott Kinney Boulevard, this is the house where it all in unfolded, a barricade situation for hours this afternoon in just, as you said, a bizarre situation. No one was hurt, but the homeowner is scared and she is fed up. Get out of here. Get out of my house. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. You better watch it with that. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. That's the terrifying moment after Marcia Davalos came home just after noon Monday and found a man she doesn't know inside. She immediately took out her phone and started rolling. Or he said that it was his place. You went the minute that I walked in. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I live here. And I'm like, no, you don't. You don't live here. And this is the knife and sword police spotted when she showed them the video when they arrived minutes later. Weapons that instigated this massive response with the SWAT team on the ground, air support overhead. For four hours, LAPD tried to get the guy out, sending in a robot to assess the situation. Davalo says he trashed the place. Oh, yeah, he tore it up. Like, he tore it up, and it's like... I, there's so much garbage in there. I don't even. Just before 4.30, police gassed him out, apparently catching him in the shower. He surrendered in just a towel. It's just sad, you know? It's so sad that the community has to keep enduring through this kind of stuff. It, like, shouldn't be happening, you know? should not be happening. Police say they have not confirmed it's an unhoused person, but locals told us they've seen the man sleeping on patios in the past few weeks. Blocks of nearby Abbott Kinney Boulevard were closed off as it played out. Workers turned witnesses shaking their heads. I mean, it is disappointing because, you know, like I'm a local here, so it sucks that this is happening to our community, but it's unfortunately not surprising because this happens a lot. It happened just a few blocks away to the Keaton family a year ago. A man living in an encampment confronted Deb Keaton and said he was going to kill her husband. Tonight, she has a message for her down the street neighbor. Yeah, I'm so sorry that you went through that. If you need a place to stay, you know, I'm right down the street from you. I've been living in Venice for 30 years and it gets bad. It gets good. It's gonna, It's getting better now. It's, it's going to be much better, I think, now that we have new leadership in office. And that was something they both spoke about, um, new leadership in office, a new council member here in Venice, the new mayor perhaps uh, signaling, they thought, a change and a new approach to the um, fight against homelessness. In Venice, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Lori.